that noise is so adorable. It has like like children laughing and like like trees rustling in the wind. But it also has dogs barking, which is kind of sus actually, because you may have noticed Maddie's a dog. So like, girl, why are you barking? <coughs> hey besties, it's Nat. Welcome back to my lake area again. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of her recently, but that's okay because she's good. Okay, my lake is good. Anyways, uh, this empty lot used to be Bo's house uh, before I moved Bo's house behind the lake, and he lives in the wilderness now. Uh, go check out the speed build that I did of the inside of his house, by the way. It's honestly like I ate with that. Anyways, today we are working on something a little different. We are building another business, this time for my absolute bestie, Maddie. Uh, now, I didn't intend for all of my villagers to be girl bosses. I don't intend for that. Uh, but in this case, I had a really great idea for her house. Obviously she used to have a private island and that was in the past and now is the present. And in the present, she is going to have an ice cream shop. Very cutesy, very nostalgic, very main. Okay, we don't have the ice cream man. Actually, we sometimes do have the ice cream man and I had an ice cream truck built uh, that I previously did that I'm not going to link because it's very old. But anyways, we are going to create an ice cream parlor for all the summer tourists to come visit and have a little outdoor section as well for them to enjoy their tasty treats. But before that, obviously, we have to do the inside of Maddie's house. Now, I had the idea to do this like super cute transition during the video where like I do the inside and then I open the door and her house is not on the beach anymore. It's in a different spot and it's like, ooh, oopsie, spoilers. But uh, Maddie didn't want to go in her house because she's rude uh, and doesn't care about my time or my feelings. So we're not going to have that. And instead, we're just going to jump right in to the inside of this ice cream parlor. So I don't know, grab a snack, grab something to drink, and let's get going. Hello again, besties. It's voiceover Nat from several days in the future, um, because unlike all of you who jumped into this build, I did not jump into this build. This voiceover has taken me three attempts to complete. This is my third attempt, uh, but you know what they say, besties, third time's a charm, and uh, I have a lot of charm, a lot of charm to go around. So does Maddie. Speaking of Maddie, um, this is her original house. As you can see, very cute for a Nintendo house. Like, it's very much giving Heidi Girl of the Alps, it's giving Sound of Music realness, but today we are giving it a makeover into an ice cream parlor. As you can see by this yellow pinstripe wallpaper, this build is very yellow. You also have the yellow paneling in the back. I never used that wallpaper because it doesn't have windows, which is very annoying, but I was tired of using the same white and blue paneling that I've been using in all of my other builds because of my island theme, which is like nostalgic New England coastal city type theme. Uh, so I've been using a lot of I've been using a lot of wood paneling besties uh, And I wanted to mix it up a little bit So we went with the yellow and pink theme for this house, which I think is really cute and it suits Maddie very well Maddie's very beige, but she likes a little pink, you know, she's a she's a pop girly uh, and she's cutesy So that is the vibe we're going for today. This is the basic layout all done as always I planned this build out with my bestie the room sketch app shout out to the room sketch app This basic layout and the color scheme pretty much stays the same But I wanted to use this build and and more of my builds on my island as opportunities to do things that I wouldn't normally do So with this build in particular, I was excited to explore more of like a cutesy Aesthetic that I wouldn't normally do in my builds if that makes sense and I got to use some items that I don't normally use I actually did an ice cream stand build a long time ago on my channel. You can go find it if you want um, But I'm not gonna link it you it's you know, this is much better I, I I appreciate her more and I used a lot of the cinnamon roll furniture in that build So I had a lot of it in my storage from when I did that and I got to use it again in this build on the exterior But in the interior I ended up using the diner furniture Which was fun for me because once again, it's furniture that I never use question uh leave a comment if you still have a diner on your island i'm very curious whether it's an exterior diner or an interior diner in like a villager house I'm, i genuinely want to know because when this game first came out everybody and their grandmother had a diner on their island because it's the only furniture the nintendo gave us and like no shade to the diner furniture it's really cute but it's it was just weird you know it was a weird time so you know shout outs to people who still have diners on their island i'm curious and i want to know uh, but yeah, like I said, this is a basic layout. I got to use some items that I normally use. I did keep that cinnamon roll sandwich board because it's adorable and I really needed that pop of blue in the build because <laughs> uh, of all the, the yellow and pink is a lot. We keep these yellow uh, bottle crates. Once again, a lot of yellow going on in this build. If you don't like yellow, un dislike unsubscribe because you're about to see a lot of it. Another item I was excited to use in this build was the Shave Ice Maker because once again, that was another throwback to my original ice cream 
shop stand thing by my shops, my shops, which I am going to do a video about that. Speaking of, okay, let's talk about my video schedule for a minute because uh, you may have noticed I'm posting this on a Friday instead of on a Wednesday or a Saturday, which is when I normally post. Um, you know, besties, I've been having life stuff happen to me. I talked about it more on a stream than I did, uh, which I'm sure the VOD is in my streams playlist if you want to see it. I was playing City Folk. Our most recent move into my City Folk town was Bob, and that was really exciting. See, here I am trying to make the froggy chair work as like a nod to Maddie's previous house, and it was just not working. We had to cut it. But okay, yes, upload schedule. I've been just having, you know, life stuff happen to me, and it's been getting in the way of me making videos. And to be honest, besties, part of the reason that I didn't post this earlier was because uh, the voiceover was just not doing it. Like the, it was really, it was just not good. And like I didn't, I didn't have anything to say about the build, which is weird because like I have a lot to say about the build. So like my head was just not in the right space. Anyways, besties, all that to say that I'm considering cutting my upload schedule for now to officially once a week, either Wednesdays or Saturdays. Let me know in the comments which day you prefer. If I do like a premiere and you wanna be at the premiere, which day is just more convenient for you, or which day you just like to see my videos in your inbox. I do think that it would be easier if I made fewer videos and I streamed more, because streams, you know, they're less stressful, they're more off the cuff. I, I feel more comfortable doing them during the day than I do with like a voiceover, because I want the audio on a voiceover to be really crisp, because it's like, you know, it's forever. And I already have enough audio problems. I'm sure that this audio has some issue with it that I'm gonna hear when I'm editing it, and I'm just gonna have to like move past it, because there's only so much that I can do to procrastinate on posting. Uh, okay, let's talk about the build for a second because these neon lights I think are adorable and they gave like the perfect vintage look that I was going for. Same with the vintage clock, but you know I use that diner neon clock in literally every build, so I don't think I ended up keeping it. I think I ended up using the cinnamon roll clock instead. It might have, it might not be cinnamon roll, it might be Kiki and Lala. It's, it's part of the Sanrio amiibo set and I also used that poster of the rat twins, the boys. Uh, Timmy and Tommy as well, uh, somewhere in the build at some point. Anyways, enough about the build. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I, what I'm saying is that, uh, especially now that we are going full steam ahead, working on my island, uh, and doing builds that you guys are gonna see when I fo post my final dream address, I'd much rather focus on quality over quantity. And that's also not to say that the builds that I have been doing with my twice week upload schedule have been bad. They think that they come out bad. But, you know, it get, you know, it's hard for me to keep that schedule if something happens in my life uh, and, you know, it pushes my recording schedule back because then I don't, you know, I, I don't put myself in a time crunch, essentially. <laughs> oh, oh, with this? Okay. Let's talk about a pet peeve for a minute. Why can I not have the menu board be one screen wide? Like, why are the options for the single screen and the double screen different? I want to make the menu board three wide. Nintendo, figure it out. <laughs> okay, anyways, let me know in a comment if you would prefer Wednesdays or Saturdays if we switch to the once weekly upload schedule. I'll also stream more so you will see me on the streams and you can also let me know like what games you'd want me to stream. Right now we're streaming City Folk, like I said, and it's iconic and legendary and wonderful and I have a great time every time I stream it. Um, I also, I could play more GameCube or uh, Wii games those are always a blast. I really want to play GameCube Harvest Moon. All the Stardew Valley girlies in the audience right now, have you ever played any of the Harvest Moon titles and would you be interested in seeing anything like that? Because for those of you who don't know, that's where uh, Stardew Valley comes from. Like that's where the inspiration came from uh, for that game. So I grew up playing the GameCube Harvest Moon game and it means a lot to me and it's a lot of fun. So, you know, let me know. Uh, same with, uh, we'll talk about The Sims later on in the build, besties, but I don't want to overload you all with channel information in the middle of, <laughs> in the middle of the speed build. Let's talk about, okay, let's talk about the build for a minute. We got a lot of yellow and pink going on. Like I said, we switched out the cinnamon roll furniture for the diner furniture. I love this pink diner set. It's super duper cute. We're throwing in more accents. This rug, besties, I was so pleased that I got to use this rug. It wasn't in my original design in the Room Sketch app, but I'm glad that I pulled it out of the catalog because it's so cute and it fits that spot perfectly. Like it fills it out perfectly and it's yellow. Like I said, this build is extremely yellow. Uh, there's, we're just gonna shuffle a couple things around. I did the B-roll for this interior 
three times. You know what? I did the voiceover three times. So maybe that's maybe that's fate, you know? Maybe it's destiny, unfortunately for me. <laughs> but I just kept changing things. I would do like 10 minutes of B-roll and then I would be like, mm, I don't really like the position of like the wall decorations. And then I would change them and then I'd have to do 10 minutes of B-roll again. Don't ask me why I was doing 10 minutes of B-roll, okay? Don't ask me. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I was just getting a lot of coverage, okay? But yeah, that was just my burden to bear and we made it through. We made it through and we got the B-roll and the build was done. I was really troubled by that area with the accent wall because I felt like it was empty, like it was missing something. And the yellow rug was not helping. I will admit that. However, I was not going to give it up because it's very cute and I liked it a lot and it filled the space. So I was like, okay, I can't put anything on the floor because I want Maddie to be able to get back there so she can pretend that she's working her little counter. Uh... And I tried using these birds. I thought that the bird decoration was a cute idea. And you know, the seagulls, it matches the nautical town theme pretty nicely. I used them in Bo's house to great success. But right right now with the, the way that they're like offset with each other and the fact that they're both white and like the white and yellow, it's too, it's too bland. It's not giving what it needs to give. Here I am trying to put a sock on the ground like a fool, even though this is a business, this is a place of business. Okay, let's set the record straight right now. I do not intend to make all of my villagers girl bosses. I'm pretty sure I said that in the intro. I don't remember what uh, me from three days ago is up to at this point, I'm gonna be honest. Um, but I don't intend to make them all girl bosses. I feel like the ice cream stand idea just fit for Maddie. Um, and I'm glad that I did it because I think it works really perfectly for her. And it also fits really well with this area that we're in. The neighborhood that I put her in is actually where her house used to be, which is across the river from her dad, Butch's house. Maddie and I are sisters, by the way, and Butch is my dad and also her dad, but th that doesn't matter. Anyways, um, her her ice cream shop is across the street from my nostalgic park build that I did, the playground, uh, which I'll have linked to the card as well. I had to rearrange it a little bit, which you'll see in the outside portion of this video, but it's so, so cute. And I used the park uh, ambient noise that you can use with the, the Happy Home Paradise noises. That noise is so adorable. It has like like children laughing and like like trees rustling in the wind, but it also has dogs barking, which is kind of sus actually, because you may have noticed Maddie's a dog. So like, girl, why are you barking? Anyways, <laughs> I was, okay, as I was saying, I'm not turning all of my villagers houses into businesses, but this one fit really well. It fit for Maddie, it fit for the area her house is in. Um, I liked the, the color scheme I got to use. I felt like I got to use a lot of items that I don't normally use. Um, and I got to experiment a little bit and use colors that I don't normally use. And, and it was just a lot of fun. And I, I threw that phone on the wall so that when Maddie is working at the cash register, she can you know, be on the phone with her, little, with her little friends. That's very her. I think I also switched the stereo to be the music box. And I play the music box version of KK Bubblegum, Bubblegum KK, whatever. Very adorable, fits the build perfectly. But yes, this this wall area was troubling me the entire time. And in the same way that I changed up the back wall behind the register of, at the end of the build, like after I started doing the B-roll, uh, I also changed the uh, ceiling decorations. So we're gonna do that later. Uh, but just a heads up, if you really like the two seagulls, you're not gonna, we're not gonna keep them. So, uh, so enjoy them while they last, besties, essentially. <laughs> Here's the part where, like I said, I added in that adorable poster of Timmy and Tommy. Once again, using items that I don't normally use. You know what bothers me? Why is there no pink swatch of the wall phone? All of the pink phones are for tables and not for the wall. Very annoying, very rude, actually. I also experimented with that poster of Sherb. I don't know why. Uh, he just fit, uh, but I'm not putting him on my island. Listen, okay, I got, I, I someone on stream told me that, that Sherb was their ex-husband and Sherb is a man's ex-husband. I don't know what that man is up to, but he needs to stop, okay? I don't want that energy on my island. Certainly not in Maddie's house. You know what, speaking of comments, I have a segue to say about that in a minute, but let's talk about the shine first. Okay, we're, we're switching to the music box, very adorable. Um, I shined, obviously, you gotta steam the hot things and freeze the cold things. So we we didn't steam anything. There's nothing hot in this build, but we did we did freeze the cold freezers. Um, and I also used that like I don't know. This is I learned this in photography class, but is it's like the bouquet like effect, like the bubbly like it's very like cutesy and whimsical and i use that on a lot of the objects in this build just so that like when you're taking pictures i just wanted it to have like nostalgic vibes like we like we have all the yellow and like the warmth in the build i ended up going with the normal white lighting instead of the orange lighting like i would if i wanted to make a build warm because it was just too yellow and it was bothering me but we still have that like that warm atmosphere i guess and the strawberry milk very important that's very nostalgic too though actually i was i was definitely 
a chocolate and banana milk type of girl, not a strawberry milk type of person. You know what? Leave a comment on your thoughts on flavored milks. I don't drink milk anymore, uh, so I don't really have strong opinions about it, but if you do, uh, I'd love to hear about them. And, and speaking of comments, here I'm changing the wallpaper. I literally got on the phone with my sibling and like made them look at this build and was like, which way should I do this? I don't know. And they helped me. So shout outs to you, bestie. But yes, okay, comments. Uh, first of all, YouTube has been hiding comments for me, which is very rude, honestly. Oh my God, wait, this this like streamer thing is so cute and it matches the, the banners on the wall perfectly. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. Anyways, uh, uh, YouTube has been hiding some really nice comments from me, which I don't appreciate at all. There have been a lot of really heartfelt comments that have gotten swept under the rug by YouTube, which is extremely rude of them. Uh, but just in general, because of uh, taking care of my physical and mental health, I haven't been responding to comments as quickly or as often. But I want to let you all know I read all of your comments and that they mean the world to me like really really truly um so just letting you know if you left a comment and you maybe didn't get a response or it wasn't as fast as it used to be um that's just to let you all know i'm still reading them i'm still loving them i still appreciate them thank you all so much um we're working on the, we're working on the, the, the exterior of maddie's house now i struggled with this exterior simply because i couldn't decide if i wanted it to be like more muted and normal i guess or if i wanted it to be more like poppy and fun uh, I ended up going with the more muted approach just because I really love this like salmon pink wallpaper. I'm like, this is so perfect for her. But I don't know, a part of me is like, I kind of wish I had gone with like a brighter color scheme or like a more fun color scheme. Cause this is an ice cream s store, obviously. Um, so if anything changes about this build, it'll probably be that. Though I do like the exterior. I'm not mad at it. I do like that pink and I stand by it. Ooh, and now we're doing the exterior and now we're gonna do cleanup and that means that I am going to talk about The Sims for literally like 30 seconds, so just bear with me. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I am currently working on a Let's Play series on this channel where I am doing a legacy challenge in a version of Windenburg that is populated by townies based on my Animal Crossing villagers. Um, it's a really fun series. I have a ton of ideas actually for like Sims builds and I'm working on some builds right now and like working on making the villagers into sims and that's that's honestly the most fun part like like messing around and create a sim and, and build mode and everything uh we played a little bit of the legacy on stream it's been really fun for those of you who are interested in that just a heads up that that exists if you didn't know and if you're not interested that's totally cool because this is primarily an animal crossing channel and i don't expect anyone who subscribes or watches my videos to also be interested in The Sims 4. That being said, the YouTube algorithm does not know that y'all are cool and will like just let me do a Sims video. It will intentionally stop sharing my video in the recommended bar if any of my videos are underperforming, um, which is not me saying like, oh, go watch my Sims videos to run up my numbers. I don't want you to force yourself to watch something you don't wanna see. I'm just explaining why I haven't been posting that series as much and I've been brainstorming ways to get around that, whether it's like posting them and putting them in like an unlisted, making them unlisted and putting them in a different playlist, or I don't know, like just like messing with it in that regard. Uh, let me know in the comments if y'all have any thoughts or ideas about that. Like I said, I want to get back to doing Sims stuff. Um, I enjoy The Sims 4 and I like making a little bit of variety content to go with my Animal Crossing stuff and make things that, that I'm interested in that I think other Animal Crossing players would be interested in as well. Speaking of Animal Crossing players, let's talk about the build again for a minute. Can anyone relate to the struggle of placing a house? Like, it's so stressful placing buildings in this game because it's like, I know I'm gonna have to time travel two days if I don't like it. I know I'm gonna have to pay money. I know I'm gonna have to have a space on my island to put uh, the building when I'm moving it because I have to move it twice because for some reason the game will let you move a building on top of its own footprint, which is silly. Oh my god, it's it's like the most stressful part of building on my own island. When I'm building in Happy Home Paradise, I'm just moving buildings around left and right, doesn't matter where I put them, I can just move them whenever I want. When I'm on Nautilus though, on my own island, it's serious besties, it's serious business. They're not just gonna let you move things willy-nilly like that. And you know, it adds to the stress of building a lot, okay? I don't like time traveling. Like I like I do, I don't mind it, I'm not, a, I'm not like a weird hater, but personally I'm just, I, it exhausts me a little bit. So, you know, it is what it is. You know what's nice though? We finally got in a cherry blossom season and it fits the build really perfectly. I'm quite pleased with how this looks. I think it's really, really cute and I love the pink. I'm so excited that I got to do something like really super femme and, and like and like bright poppy colors and stuff. Cause like, I don't, I, I, you know, I've seen a lot of cute kid core islands. I'm a little jealous. 
I have some ideas cooking in my head of like if I had a second switch and I had a second island, what would I put on it? There's also a couple kid core, city core theme islands that I've visited or that I've seen their dream addresses and I'm like, this is, you know, they, they really ate with this and, you know, it, it tempts me, it tempts me. Here's another question. for the, I'm, I'm doing a lot of calls to action in this video, if you haven't noticed. I'm, that's not necessarily on purpose, but you know what? Sometimes I just want to know your thoughts, okay? I'm very curious. Like I said, I love to read the comments, um, but I'm curious if, what is your current island theme, if your island has like a theme, and if you had a a second island, not like not in the sense of like if you had to delete your current one, but if you had access to two islands at once, what would be your second theme? I'm genuinely curious, I'd like to know. I would love to go in like a much more city core format, though I also kind of would love to experiment like with like a really like out there theme, like people who do like an entire desert or like the moon or like they recreate in, in another game in in Animal Crossing. A lot of people do Pokemon themed islands. I would love to do one of those. I recently, you know what, I recently started playing Leaf Green again uh, while I was working on this build because I kept getting frustrated. I was like, I need a break. And I opened up Leaf Green and I, I was just having a ball. I have a Pikachu. Her name is Ashley. Uh, I got stuck on the Cerulean Gym and it took me literally 10 tries <laughs> to beat her. But Ashley pulled through. Uh, she was the MVP of that fight. And so was my uh, Need, Ar Need Arena. Shout out to Need Arena as well would love to do a video game themed island or a movie themed island that would be fun i feel like if i had a second switch it would be way more about like the decorating even though obviously it this channel is all about decorating like <laughs> that's the whole the whole premise but i mean like i am designing this island so that i can be the island that i play on and if i did re like redo things on it i would like restart the it wouldn't restart i mean i would flatten the entire thing i'm not restarting this island this is my day one island besties she's not going anywhere um, as you can tell, I was really struggling with the outside of this because I wanted the placement of everything to make sense. Like, I didn't want to put a sign, like, in the sidewalk. Like, that seems rude for pedestrians. I would know. I live in Atlanta. Um, <laughs> but it's okay because we figure it out eventually. Obviously, as you can tell, I also really need to adjust Bob's house very, very soon. We're going to work on that. I, I wouldn't... Part of me kind of wants to work on it on stream, but also building on stream stresses me out immensely. Uh, so don't hold me to that besties. Um, I'm gonna keep streaming city folk uh, But don't don't <laughs> if you expect me to suddenly start streaming Decorating my island not happy home paradise, but like my island don't hold your breath because nothing stresses me out more than Decorating my own island in front of other people live. Uh, I don't know why but it just does uh, <laughs> I I can't explain it. It's just it's just I you would think that someone who streams Animal Crossing would be able to do that, but I don't know, it's just, I'm just not built for that, besties. It's not my lifestyle, I suppose. This back area turned out really cute, though. Essentially, you, like, go down this little alleyway where we have the, the truck parked back there, um, and, uh, behind Maddie's place is, like, a little spot where you can sit and eat by the lake. Um, I might get a little bit of adjusting. Uh, my biggest issue when initially decorating it was, uh, <laughs> the lack of white mums on my island. I wanted to fill the space with white mums, but, uh, I have more green mums on my island right now than white mums. Uh, what's his name? Leaf? And the rat boys refuse to sell me white mums, and I don't know why, but it's very rude, and they need to stop. I need them. Besties, give me the white mums. I just sell them to me. I don't know what, what your problem is. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't have any white mums on my island right now. So I, I, you know, I had some, I had duplicated some and I tried to fill up as much of the space as I possibly could, but I was struggling at the end. So I'd probably add more white mums to the space. I might shuffle some things around. I don't like the transition across the river between Maddie's house and Butch's house very much. So I definitely want to change that up. Uh, but besides that, I like the I like the the objects that I used a lot. I like the idea of it, which is why I'm like, okay, no, this is good. I, I'm okay with this. The The front of it, though, mm, the front of it is my favorite part. It's like absolutely chef's kiss. The colors and the objects. I'm so happy that I got to use not only the vintage ice cream freezer, which I used in Bob's house, too. I cannot get over this object. It's just so cute. Um, I got to use this, and I got to use the ice cream LED sign, and I got to use this cafe sign, and I got to use the, the cruiser bike. All these adorable objects that I absolutely love. I was so pleased. And, and you know, you know, she's cutesy. That's, that's, that was the vibe for this week. Cutesy. And I think I achieved that. If I didn't, let me know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to let me know. Ooh, I, I popped this balloon. Don't worry, besties. I'm still popping every balloon. I haven't stopped. I even popped all the balloons when I did my beach decorating video last week. 
and uh, all of those fell in the water. So you know, I'm I've never I'm no, I'm still on my balloon popping grind. I'll never stop. You can't stop me. <laughs> I put this tree back here. And now that I think about it, I kind of want to move it just because of like the visual of it. I put a stunted tree, I think. I uh, yeah, I think at some I think I started off with a normal size tree and then I put a stunted tree. Uh but I wanted to fill that space, but now that I think about it, it's easier for pictures if there's no tree there. Uh you'll see later on, I think, uh when I swap the trees. But anyways, I really like the way that the wheat field looks when it's like up against that white wooden fence. And I think that it works fine, like the height of it works okay by itself. I don't necessarily think I needed the tree, but you know, maybe I'll experiment and I'll take the tree away and I'll hate it. So, you know, you never know besties, you never know. My island is a living, breathing work in progress and I love that about it. I love getting to experiment and try new things constantly all the time, even if sometimes I'm like, God, I wish I could stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I know we've been fiddling with this exterior, like the front of the of the ice cream shop for a really long time, and you're probably getting sick of it, but don't worry. We are about to switch to the back uh, very, very soon. I can see it on the editor right now. Uh, we're almost done with messing with the with the front. We will return to the front later in the build. Don't worry. I'm I'm never gonna stop. I'm never gonna stop being incredibly picky about object placement and and pathing and everything. Uh, but you know, uh, for now, she is how she is, and she's quite cute. I can't say I can't say I'm mad at it. Uh, ooh, you know what has been troubling me though, besties? Here's another question for you. <laughs> Welcome to your Q and A, where you answer questions for me. Uh, but oh yeah, um, I have been struggling uh, mentally, emotionally, with the thought of getting rid of my red bricks. You may have seen me when I was destroying part of the alleyway or like changing up the alleyway. I used to have red bricks on the ground over there and I've had those bricks since very early on in my island. They're in some of my earliest builds. They've been in my builds for a long time. I've used them recently. I use them on a lot of builds, besties, a lot of builds. But I have been struggling with whether or not I want to keep them. Not because I don't like them, and, and the contrary, that's why I've been keeping them for so long, is that they're really versatile, and they only take up five tile slots as opposed to like a nine tile path. But part of me wants to transition fully to uh, the, the new four tile wide road that uh, this creator who made the road I'm using now recently posted. It's like a lighter color, and it's more focused on like that run down aesthetic that I really like. Uh, However, my island is currently designed for three tile wide roads, so that's a little bit of an obstacle. Uh, so not only am I dealing with that, but I'm also dealing with, I kind of want to bring back the path. I've I had the path on my island for a long time and then I gave it up to have like the more realistic roads and I think it works really well for my theme but there are some areas of my island especially like the more rural and like foresty areas that work that would work really well with the path and I'm like torn of whether or not I should bring her back or not. Have any of y'all been struggling with choosing custom designs recently? I know we have literally a hundred slots and that should be more than enough but even then I still struggle with choosing uh, designs and uh, I'm currently struggling with it and I, I get nervous because I like I don't like deleting designs because I'm bad at keeping track of them if you haven't noticed uh, by my horrible video descriptions uh, but I yeah I just I don't know besties I don't know I don't know what to do uh, I'm probably just gonna keep it the way it is though because I uh, uh, am nervous about change uh, as you can tell by how long it's been taking me to slowly chip away at each little piece of my island case in point the fact that like six months ago i had an ice cream truck on a completely different area in my island and now i have an ice cream shop uh at, which is now in maddie's house though to be fair at the time i did not have the ability to uh decorate any villagers houses so that you know that that's not that's not my fault that's nintendo's fault but yeah i got to pull out this furniture again and i was so happy it's so cute i ended up not putting any chairs just because it would just take up too much space but i put some uh reds raffle items on the table i put an ice cream and i put a boba remember to use the reds raffle items besties they're very important i also use them on the inside of the build as well uh but yeah we have those on the table we got to use this picnic which i haven't used since like the the game came out and everyone discovered the cherry blossom items for the first time and everyone was like whoa this picnic's incredible and it is it is incredible i just haven't used it and i get to use it again and i'm quite pleased uh i got to i got to use the vending machines as well the pink one quite pleased with that i love experimenting with all of these like city items now that we finally have them they're so cute i was struggling with whether i wanted 
to have the crossing signal directly in front of the build or not because I was like it's gonna block the, the view but you can get a good view of the front of Maddie's house without having the crossing signal in it so that works um, I used this record player which I haven't used in a, in a minute either uh, you know this is a mix of old and new this build items that I haven't used in forever and items that I've never used and items that I use all the time and I got to use colors that I haven't used in a while or that I don't normally use and it's it was it was a fun time I did use yellow in this build besties but no blue or green or you know very little blue or green because I have to I this blanket like come on you know I can't not use this blanket I'm obsessed and I, I you know I like the contrast with the picnic and I just think it's cute she's cutesy here I was struggling with the flowers once again I wanted to mix up the green and white mamas I felt like they were the most appropriate for this area just because of their colors and everything and I really wanted to use these string lights but they just weren't fitting so maybe I'll put those in the build if I get rid of that tree that might that might work um, I think I put a ice cream on that bottle crate that you can grab when you visit my DA in case you yourself want an ice cream obviously besties you've got to check our angles very important that we check our angles yeah no the flowers with with butch's dock I, I love those black tulips so so much and I, I can't believe that I bred so many of them and they do look really, really nice for Butch's house, but like, I just don't know, besties. I just don't know if like, it'll fit with what Maddie has going on. You know what I mean? I also tried to experiment with the spoiled turnip and using it to get the ants to come, but it just didn't fit back there either. So we ended up scrapping that as well. But that's another decorating tip. I love using a spoiled turnip to get an anthill going. Makes it very really cute. Really cute for playgrounds and like kid core aesthetics. Uh, once again, checking my angles, being disappointed in myself for not thinking of the color coordination between Maddie and Butch's houses. But we'll figure that out in the future, besties. That's for future me to worry about. For now, all I have to worry about is Maddie's house, and Maddie's house is cute. Oh, here we are moving the trees around. Like I said, gotta, gotta think about those angles, besties. If people are coming to my dream address to take pictures, I want them to be able to see. And if there's a tree blocking their way, then I have failed. So we gotta, we gotta get our angles straight. We gotta get everything right for pictures. You know, that's not the only purpose of this island. I do want to play on this island, but at the same time, you know, I gotta get it right for all the besties who are gonna visit in at some point in the future and 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 have a, have a fun, fabulous time. Uh, ooh, speaking of, okay, I'm not gonna say anything in this voiceover. Uh, it'll be a surprise. But speaking of dream addresses, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. You can take from that what you will. I moved the tree back a space and I pushed the items back a little bit and I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, but you know, this is, <laughs> I told you I was gonna spend a long time adjusting the front of this build, but I think that it looks really cute and I really like how it turned out. So who wins in the end? You know who wins in the end? Um, not my time management skills, that's for sure. <laughs> That's absolutely for sure. So to be fair, there are a lot of things against me in the world trying to stop me from finishing this build in a timely manner, and especially this video, oh, which was so cute when, when I was working on this. There was a part where I was working on the park area and he kept getting in my way though. I don't know if that already happened or not in the video uh, or if I left it in or if I cut it out or whatever, but it was very irritating. But I do love him and he is my dad and he is in my uh, city folk town as well as Bob. It was very exciting. He was there on day one and I gasped on stream and it was very dramatic. And then Bob moved in on the last stream that we did and I gasped again, it was very dramatic. Okay, see, here was my, my biggest struggle with this area, right? That bike is blue. The blue in the bike matches the blue in the cafe sign. Very cute, it makes sense, I love it. The problem was I was having the cafe sign and the bike on the same side and it was not working besties. I had to balance out the colors. So I had to find a way to fix the heights of everything so that I could have the bike and the ice cream the ice cream cone on the same side to have the cafe sign on the other side but it was just not working and i was so frustrated and i was using a skateboard and a fire hydrant and doubling and tripling and layering things up and it was just not working at all and I ended up scrapping it and just having just the bike and just the ice cream cone and it just works way better and i moved that leaf pile love a leaf pile besties as you can tell by my island leaf pile absolutely goaded item can't live without her you know what? I really gotta stock up on young spring bamboo so I can make more leaf piles, besties. I always forget to do that when I'm in spring. Okay, we're I think we're we're pretty much at the end. I you know what I threw in? I added like a little purse at some point and I planted a couple of flowers. That purse is so cute. She's so darling. Okay, now we're at the end of the build. Thank you all so so much for watching. I really, really enjoyed this build, especially the interior. I think it's super duper cute. I love the views of the lake. I love the little path from the from from the park to the ice cream shop. 
I love how much it captures that nostalgic vibe. Uh, like I said before, thank you so much for your patience with me. Um, I am considering switching to a once a week upload schedule, so let me know which day you prefer in the comments, Wednesday or Saturday. Uh, I also want to stream more, so let me know your thoughts on on that and what games you want to see on the streams. Uh, pop in the city folk streams, they're super duper fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, it really really helps me out in the algorithm. Leave a comment too, that also really helps. Uh, I gave you a lot of questions to answer, so feel free to answer any of them. I am planning to release my next video on Wednesday, um, and it's going to be a very special video, so keep an eye out for that, besties. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time that I post. Uh, check the link in the description for Discord, and I'll see you all again on Wednesday. Bye!